What's up, y'all? Look, this thing. This thing with R. Kelly, man. This thing has kept me up. I mean, I kind of find it. Finally got to sleep, but not too long ago. So, yesterday was the end of that three part series. And my question, and I wasn't going to do another dang on video on this thing. My question is R. Kelly, can we survive him? Look at that. Can we survive him? Yeah. Oh, trust me. I got a lot to go behind that. Do you see me and all these other YouTubers out here? Do you see the looks on our face? Mm -hmm. that, right here? that means, can we survive him? And we, and I mean, this is, look, this was one of my, they said this one didn't do good. This is one of my favorite CDs. And this is what I want y'all to do. I ain't never did this before. I ain't never did this before. This is my boy. So I ain't even never see a CD do this before. Look at this. Wow. That's how I'm so serious, y'all. So serious. But, uh uh. I'm done, done. I'm done, done. Mm. This is my favorite. My favorite CD. I can't get this no more. But y'all get the damn point. Y'all break your stuff up. <laughs> y'all break it up. Y'all mm. break it up. Mm. Nothing. He's nothing without his face. Nothing. So in a way, he used us mm. too. That's true. But I'm gonna drop her off, right? And I'm gonna come back and talk more about this. And I'll be this topic. The whole time, uh huh. Dang Dad said something like oh, yesterday. Oh, look at and she didn't and <laughs> Lotion. It's it's in your life. Dame Dash was like Aaliyah told him. Well, she would always try to tell him what happened, but she couldn't, just like them girls, and she would just end up saying he was just a bad dude, and then from then on, he never messed with him. But he said, he, that, that, was that a quote? He said he yeah. never F, F well, with him or best with him? He deal with him. Deal with him? Yeah. That's what he said? Yeah. Basically. And that's my other point. These men, all of them. Nobody. He was totally untouchable. I don't I get it. Touch <laughs> oh, you talking about Jay Z? Um, oh yeah. Who's That's why the one that loved her. Uh, I'm just saying. Back yeah. then, like, <sighs> it's, it's her personality. Is money? I don't know. I guess. Timberland could say that because he was feeling some type of way uh, about her back yeah. then. Even if it did. Yeah. That'll look alike. Yeah, his wife. What was it? What? A year ago or something? I don't know. I saw him and his wife. I was like, what? The, what? Y'all looked that up. She looked just like her. That, she, that was weird. And you said, he said. Everybody coming out the world right now. It's like, um, what did he say? He, um, what, it he, was two parts. He said something about he was 23, she was 16, and yeah. he knew that he, he's she, wrong, right? And yeah, urges. <laughs> he had urges. That's what he said. He said that part. It's like, I had to tell myself no because. It's him and Missy Elliot was like I thought of them as big brother, big sister, and I was like, "Oh, she got away from R. Kelly." Um, right. He said, "What did he say? It was something else." What about his wife? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew I was gonna marry her because she looked like Aaliyah. Ah, yeah. What about you? <laughs> well, I didn't see that. And right. I'm like, did she know that? No, she can't. Is it about money again? Uh, is it about money? Is it money guys? I'm going to be a broke so-and-so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a broke so-and-so. You can't deal with that. The parents. That's what everybody wondering. 
everybody feeling sorry for the parents. Right. But I'm confused too, cause I'm like Funky the Navisay and, and Bonnie. Everybody, I've been saying the same thing. Where was the pet? Where was the parents? Especially the ones with the two parents. Like, mm -hmm. I feel bad. For, I feel bad about the whole situation, but it's like <sighs> my parents was chill. They knew where I was. <laughs> yeah. they, they had grandma, she would call and make sure I was home or whatever. That was my teenager. You know, it's even with like elementary school, I was probably 10. You know, I would stay home by myself for like an hour or whatever. Because they used to work opposite shifts. So that didn't even no damn excuse. And all the girls could sing. They could sing. They could do. They could. They could sing. They could do that. They could dance. Whatever. They had some type of talent about them, which is what he used to. Um, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Dreams. And the parents probably thought the same thing. Oh, you found True. Gonna, You finally gonna come up, right? And. And I was thinking about them grown men. So they probably didn't say nothing because they possibly was messing with the girls too. Was they a pass around? Ooh. They pass the girls around. Ooh. That's why I want to know. All right. That's terrible. I know. You said one o'clock? Yeah. All right. Yeah, y'all. Was either A. Park over here so I can finish to finish try to finish my thoughts. Um was it I'm just so disturbed by this y'all and I don't even drink like if I drink I may have like a wild cooler every three four months. And that's the type of drinker I am. This thing I done watched this three-day docu-series totally sober. And now, the first day the docu-series came on, the first ten minutes, I was about to turn it off. And then it just kept, like, dragging you in. And I'm just like... And that's... It's just no words. Like, it's almost no words that he was so famous and the money and all that that he could pay everybody off. They said that he had some people in the police department paid off. So, because I was telling the little girl about that. We were watching Peppermint last week, and that was the same thing, you know. It was like the drug cartel in the movie had lawyers paid off. They had it, probably the judge was paid off, and the um the the police. They had one bad cop. It it only takes one. So it's just so sad. And that's why I say, can we survive our county? Like, and I'm not trying to minimalize the girl. The girls probably didn't even think that they were, like, back then, they probably didn't think they were being uh, abused or whatever. They thought they were grown. Just like back then when the whole Aaliyah thing came. I was 17, I think, when Aaliyah first came out with, um, I remember back and forth. I remember that song. Came, I was in English class and we was talking about that and um, I guess the album was AJ nothing but a number that too the song titles told all the way through like I know it's like Usher like something would happen with him and he would sing about his life uh, and 
you know, Mary J. Blige, something happened with her. She's singing about her, like, um, Taylor Swift. Every time she broke up with somebody, she sang about it. Wrote a song about it. And here it go. He, all the songs, except the ones that were inspirational, supposedly, I Believe I Can Fly, stuff like that. Even trapped in a closet. That that hip hop or mess. I, I would admit, like the first one, like the first time, like when he came out with the first, I said, that's interesting. And then it kept going on and on and on and on and on. And then the man came out. The, I was like, what? Man came out the closet. He probably has some issues with that too because. I'm trying to get off my thoughts. Are all over the place. Um, trapped in a closet. So what I was getting to was the meanings behind his song titles. So he had Andrea Kelly trapped in a closet. If you will. She said she was trapped. And I mean closet. I don't mean a little closet. Their closets are probably big as my whole apartment. But still, she could come out without... Knocking on the knocking on the door, talking about can she can she come out and get something to eat or go to the bathroom? What? Like and then everybody said, well, you can't judge your situation until you've been in it. True, but my, my parents would have had. They were not let me do that, y'all. Even if, if I could say somebody would have been with me, and then I probably would have had no deal because that's probably what he said. You know, I need to work with this person, this this girl, one on one type of thing, or she's not gonna get it. You know that type of thing. Or maybe the girls they. They play hooky and they just ran off. And that's the thing. Like, it seemed like most of the time he wasn't the one giving out his number. It was a security guard. I mean, yeah, security guard. Know what he called a beat. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The body, uh, the protector. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The, that person. Bodyguard, duh. I told y'all, it's early. But my, th I was thinking about this all night. The bodyguard, the road manager, the road, I can't believe, man, Funky the Nava was talking about this too. But me and the little girl, when it first came on, he was talking, I think they talked about Aaliyah the first day. I'm not sure. But, The road manager said how he forged the document so they could run off and get married. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, how much was he paying you guys? The stuff that they that he must have saw, and the guy that was um, in the. In the docu-series, he was the producer, the music producer back then. He was light-skinned, and he had, like, pretty hair slicked back. And he said he went down to the studio one day, and there was a girl butt naked. He said nothing. And I believe he was the one that said, all right, Kelly had it set up, like, it was several rooms. In the studio with a bed in the middle of the main studio. A bit like what was that? Did he ask him about that? But you're gonna say something 20 plus years later. Are these people gonna get in trouble too? Like, I don't understand. Like, I just don't get it. The fans, the fans are still support him like trust 
me. I was, I was, I love his, I love his music, but I cannot listen to it anymore. I just can't. Like people say, like a lot of people say, I say a lot of YouTubers say no. If it come on the radio, I won't jam to it. If it come on the radio, I'm turning the station. And nobody's probably going to play it after this anyway. I only had that one R. Kelly CD. Like, I really love that CD. And for me to break up something that I bought with my hard-earned money. And so he came out when I was like when I was a teenager, so I loved it. Even though I never really listened to the word. How many people listen to the word of a song? Like, especially when they're teenagers. You just bump to the to the to the beat. All his songs told what he was doing. Seems like you're ready. Bump and grind. 12 play. Like I said, trapped in the closet. Um, honey love. Um, that I admit song that he had just came out with. It was 19 minutes long. I didn't listen to that whole thing. But he said some stuff in there. And he's still free. Like, they said that, um, Aaliyah's parents have the publisher like his his rights to his songs or whatever so she, they said the daddy has, is deceased now but the mama and the brother and all them and the uncle they, 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 they rich off of his stuff so I'm like and she put out a statement about they were with her at all times they couldn't have been it's no way in the world. She said, my husband and I were with her at all times. The uncle was probably saying that he was with her. But I'm sure he wasn't. And then he probably knew too. Like, just like Sparkle said, she always kept her eye on her niece. Because she, I guess she, she knew. She never saw things, but she knew. She kind of knew. And that's what Funky Denava was talking about intuition. Nobody ever uses it. Nobody. And can you imagine all the girls that <clears throat> didn't come forward? All the ones that got paid off? Like, all the money that has exchanged hands. We saw the money that exchanged hands. With him to that little girl in that video. That it wasn't them. Allegedly it wasn't. It wasn't them. So. Is this lifetime production. Going to be the straw. That breaks the camel's back. I, I believe so. Because. It made me feel sick and everybody that I looked at that even watched the uh I mean the, everybody's talking about it. so is this this thing is is this gonna be one of those things that everybody talks about for a few days and it goes away I hope not I hope not but I know that I'm personally not listening to his music Somebody tried to blame it, uh, say, in a comment somewhere I saw, well, maybe he's special needs, or maybe he's, he has autism, Asperger's. No, my baby is autistic, and, and no, he's, my baby is the sweetest and the kindest person ever. Don't blame him having no special needs. He, I think, of course, he... If they're saying that his sister did that to him, that is awful. Never, and then when a person never gets help for something. And then, you got all these people around him that 
is helping him. They said he couldn't read too well. Well, he had to have somebody to book the room. The one mother said he had two floors of hotel rooms for all these girls. So somebody had to to somebody had to do it besides him. It wasn't just him. That's the that's the scary part. Like it wasn't just him. And this is it. my thoughts are all over the place. So can we survive R. Kelly? Like, people have been saying he's the soundtrack to our lives, but y'all's gonna have to find another soundtrack. <sighs> you know, social media and all that stuff wasn't out back then. Like, when, when the stuff first hit the fan. So, it's not like we could see stuff over and over and over and over and over. And so, once those girls got, they probably got paid off or whatever, and the whole thing with Aaliyah, and Aaliyah moved on. She said nothing ever happened, and she moved on with Missy and, and Timberland, you know, and we just kind of forgot. She's like, oh, yeah, because when I was in high school, oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard they got married, you know, that type of thing. And there was no Google and nothing like that back then. Um, if you have no fans, you got nothing. So why are you supporting this dude? Still, they try to blame a brother. No, y'all gotta stop. I don't care if he black or white, whatever. Like. It was just wrong. And trust me, he probably is. No. I can't. He, like that interview he did with that one lady. It was the Huffington Post. And he, I've never seen him act like that on camera. So, you would be inclined to believe that he did these things. So, I would say he's a sociopath. Just no, no feelings. Uh, no emotion, like a sociopath, uh, uh, a nymphomaniac for sure. Um, probably bisexual because that one girl, Dominique, that got rescued by her mom. Which props to the mom for go getting her daughter. They tried to call the cops on her, talking about she said that that one her mother and that type of thing. She was like, I oh, was she crying and over the phone when the mama got back in the car and the mama said, I'm going to come back and get you. He tried to turn her into his boy toy. That's what they said. Got her tatted up and and buzzed her hair. Looked like a stud. You know, that type of thing. Because uh, she was a girly girl before. And so he tried to change her to be his boy toy. So what's that about? And I hope he ne he didn't touch his own kids because the one little girl that he has, I believe two girls and a boy, is transgendered now. I mean, to each his own, but if he did something to his own kid, that's what that Lisa girl said. She said, I couldn't have his kid because I would always think about what he would do to her. Or him, her. She said her if it was a girl, but either or. And that brother in prison. I don't even know why they had him on camera. Because he was just a big fool. So obviously, all the boys was, was molested or something. Because the sister was the oldest, so she allegedly, she said she ain't do it. But she the one with watch the kids while the mama was at work and mama died in 93 so she don't know um so bruce the oldest brother would say yeah i like older women so she was older at the time he like younger women it's a preference what 
that ain't sound right. Everything he said ain't sound right. Especially about the brother, the younger brother said, oh yeah, he offered me $100,000 or something like that to... I want to say, say that it was him or something to that effect. And he's like, no, I'm not taking the money. So then the older brother talking about, he could have been rich. You could have been rich off a hundred thousand dollars and tarnished your reputation. Y'all. I tell y'all, it starts with the fans. Stop listening to his music. Just stop it. Like it is kind of like and then it has us thinking about going all through his songs. I'm going back through time. Like, it just really had, like, like, just like you watching a real good movie. Like, say, the movie Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis. I watched that whole movie. Then I got to the end. And I was like, what? I had to watch the whole movie again. And when you watch the whole movie again, it made sense. It made perfect sense. So this is kind of one of those things. Like I'm going all the way back to like 93. All the songs he made, he told on himself. But we was just grooving to the beat. So, y'all let me know down in the comments. Are y'all still going to listen to his music? Because people say music is neither here nor there. Y'all like his songs, keep keep buying it, keep keep uh listening to it, keep rocking with it. I don't think so. You keep buying it, you're putting money in his pockets and the pockets of the people that helped protect him, that enabled him, that probably did these things to these girls as well. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm I'm done. Like I don't even want to I'm not even going to talk about this no more because I said I wasn't. I was going to do a video each day after that first video. I had said I couldn't watch no more, but I did anyway. And I said, I'm not doing no more videos on this. And and it just, it's just been bothering me. So, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all going to do. Um, Alright, y'all have a good one.